What's up guys, uh, today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys on how to perma permanently fix your Xbox One Wi-Fi issues where you were getting kicked out of several games, um, which games were published by Activision. Uh, now, uh, I've already made two videos on this, uh, which are technically helping you with the uh, enabling ports for Xbox One and Destiny, uh, and uh, setting up a static IP for the Xbox One. Now, if, if those two uh, tutorials haven't helped you yet, then this is the permanent solution that I've found to this issue. Uh, now, this, this, uh, this is actually going to cost. Uh, it's not free, so uh, you're going to have to purchase this device, which is a TP-Link uh, a TP-Link AV500 Nano Powerline Adapter, and it's a starter kit. Now, it's it's not that expensive. It is the cheapest uh, around, and it is one of the best. You can see that it was rated by Active Computers uh, 5 stars and recommended by it. So uh, this thing is actually pretty good for the price. Uh, you can get it for around uh, £25, pounds or in US dollars, around 35 to $40. Uh, possibly uh, purchase it on Amazon.com. Uh, or .code UK so you could buy it from Best Buy or uh, Curry's or PC World uh, now it is uh, one of the easiest uh, things to install um, as you can see that it says plug and play uh, it's green power line so less power consumption as well HD streaming so you will receive almost 100% of your speed but it will get capped to around 80 or 70 depending on the number of users connected to your router uh, now I'm receiving the highest I'm receiving is uh, 75 to 80 and my internet speed is 110 so um, it is a pretty good thing I mean to have to to be able to transmit Ethernet quality um, speed over Wi-Fi using these adapters here now to achieve the the 100 percent maximum power out of the, these adapters you need to plug them straight into your wall socket not using your uh, extensions or anything like that so one of it needs to be right next to your router and go into the wall socket and have the ethernet cable plugged in from this end into the uh, the router itself the other one needs to be in whichever room your xbox one is so mine is upstairs in my room and it needs to be plugged into wall socket again and have the ethernet cable going from it into your xbox one and uh, you need to have power running through both of them so you need to have uh, you need to enable switches on uh, for both so you can have uh, both running simultaneously at the same time and uh, and and, the, and then you will receive the uh, connection, connection from it but if you turn one of them off the connection will disconnect so you need to make sure that both of them are on and running and plug into wall sockets of whichever rooms uh, they need to be in so um, full instructions are included in here uh, this is the box I've taken that out I've taken it out already because I won't be able to do this one hand uh, you can see what's included is a quick installation guide and this just gives you a run through of what needs to be done in each and every step so it's like a small booklet kind of thing with, with a page and the instructions up here how to set it up uh, so uh, I mean I'm not going to go through this you can look into this yourself I've already explained exactly how to do it um, and it just tells you what's included in the package itself and there's nothing else other than uh, the power adapter holders and uh, that's about it and it comes with a three year standard warranty as well I'll have the link uh, in the uh, description for you guys to purchase it uh, those who th those of you who want to uh, purchase this um, if your issue wasn't fixed with the previous two videos this is a guaranteed 100 percent fix for the Xbox one uh, where uh, any Activision game you play from now on will never disconnect uh, for example where you used to disconnect two minutes into the game five minutes into the game you weren't able to play it. Uh, especially destiny because it's an online based game um, now this video has helped please do make sure to subscribe uh, leave a comment if you have any more questions or any issues and I'll try my best to get back to you. Peace out guys.